there's an ear you can fill, I won't judge. I'm no judge. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you are new to our soul family, our soul tribe. Pisces, hello, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Welcome to your January 2023 love messages reading with me, Chris, of the Tarot Closet. This is your love message, messages reading, <laughs> of course, your no contact and or in separation reading. And if you are new to the channel and you're wondering, where's the tarot? Yeah, this is your love tarot as well for your specific person you have arrived here for. A lot of stuff comes through that is not about a specific person. So if you're here, you're meant to be here. There's a reason it's because there is something here for you. As always, I'm surrounded by Oracle decks, Len Orman, Angel cards, Fairy stones, Fairy cards, lots of stuff going on around me. And of course, your channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. And that is channeled song messages, messages through song as well as love messages. So stay tuned. We'll see what wants to come in. But we are beginning your reading today with an Austrian tradition, if you didn't know I'm an American in Austria. I've been here for quite a while. I have, yeah, this is my life is here. And this is one of the traditions I absolutely love. It is a form of divination that we do December, January for the new year. You can really do it whenever you want. It's just a celebratory time, of course. So I want to share that with you. It is called Blygesen. Somebody asked me, I think it was in Capricorn, or mentioned, oh, you're burning totems, <laughs> melting totems. I guess you could say that, but these are not my totems, of course. My totems are something else entirely. Now, traditionally, they used to use lead. That, of course, is really toxic, and they finally, um, luckily, outlawed that and Gosh, I want to say around 2018. Took a long time, didn't it? Anyway, a lot of times, well, now people are using tin, which I'm using today, and wax. I like to use both, but I'm working with tin for my for you guys <laughs> at the moment. We have four in here to choose from. There is a mushroom. There is a, of course, and that is symbolizing rebirth, regeneration. We also have a boar, a wild pig, and that is lucky, but it's also about kind of, it's a really direct message saying, take care of yourself. We also have an elephant, which is connected to Taurus, interestingly enough. It's not about so much as the sign as, yeah, it's the family energy and also pushing through obstacles. Elephants have really great memories, so it can be that there's something not being let go. We will see. And by the way, I'm going to see here. You can't really see where the trunk is, can you? That is the nature of Phlegason. And the last thing we have in here is a sect bottle. That is what we call champagne here. Celebratory, of course. And yeah, we are in New Beginnings and Pisces. So we'll, we'll choose one. Then I will be melting it down for you, putting it in the water. And we're going to read both what the, the Blygesen, the molten metal, what it has formed, as well as what it has left behind, the residue on what they call the hand, the spoon. So we're going to get into that, but before we do, I just want to, and I'll tell you a little bit about these little wood rounds <laughs> as well in a moment. I want to remind you that we are, well, we are, that there's time there. <laughs> Gosh, you guys, I'm really anxious to get started on your reading today. For the month of January, I am giving away notes from the universe on love and connection. So this is this month's giveaway for January 2023. If you would like to be entered into the giveaway, make sure you watch, like, and share today's reading. Are a subscriber of the Tarot Closet with your notifications on. Lastly, please comment down below and include in the comment giveaway. I will be announcing the winner sometime in February, so watch the community tab. I have not announced the winner yet, guys, for December's giveaway. The chakra wisdom oracle cards i will be doing that i hope by the end of the weekend um just a little bit yeah, i'm getting my bearings from 
the holidays. <laughs> I'm still a little bit wobbly here. So if you're waiting on that announcement, just keep watching. Once I do announce it, I will leave it up for three days to give the winner time to respond before I possibly move on to the next. All the playlists are linked below in the description if you want to cross watch a zodiac sign. I'm still rolling out 2023, so stay tuned for that. Also, if you are on a twin flame journey, I have very long in-depth twin flame readings down there, so feel free to check them out as well. Amongst other things, messages from your person, message from your spirit guides. By the way, I just released a special full wolf moon message from your spirit guides on the full moon. Check that out, you guys, because yeah, what is going on in that reading is not just about one day. It's a really important reading. If you enjoy those types of readings, I definitely recommend you check that out. Also, link down below, you probably already saw the tarotcloset.com where you can book a private reading for yourself, or I also have gift cards there if you wanna gift somebody a reading. They do not expire as long as, yeah, as long as I am breathing. <laughs> Okay, also down below is my music website, christineledoux.com. If you enjoyed today's intro song, that is, well, my music, one of my many songs, you can hear the rest of that song, Lonely Stranger, at my website, along with other music and read more about me if you are interested. Also down below is a link to my new merchandise store. There is a coupon for January down there. And the last thing, but not least, is our new Tarot Closet community over on Facebook. Feel free to come over and join us. Okay, let's get started on your Bligason, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces. And then we will get into, yeah, the Tarot portion of your January 2023 reading today. Pisces, you received the sect bottle, champagne celebratory. Well, I gotta say guys, for this month, right now, Mars, well, Mercury's in retrograde, first of all. <laughs> it's going direct on the 18th of January, a day before Capricorn season ends. And Mars is in retrograde at the moment as well in Gemini. And that's also going direct on the 12th of January, I want to say. It's going to be a time for, yeah, taking a deep breath, slowing down. You're going to get a really big energy boost. And in the way of love, by the way, at the end of the month on the 26th of January, Venus will be in your sign, Pisces. Yeah, so a, a time for truths coming out, connections, dating, lots of stuff going on. So the celebratory sect... What is exactly going on with you? Well, let's see. Let's get as close as we can. It's really fast once it starts to melt. Please remember to take what is for you and let the rest go. And Pisces, you have free will. Your person has free will. Everyone has free will. Energies, outcomes can, will, and do change. Future is not fixed. Please do not make any life-changing decisions based on your reading. All right, do you see it? It's starting. And maybe some of you have initials. SE, something in there, SEKT, that means something to you. Here we go. You see this? Look. Look at that metal. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was really interesting on the hand. I'm going to hold it up for you guys as well. I don't know if you can see it. Ooh, I need to blow that out. Ouch. <laughs> One of many reasons I do not use candles here at the tarot closet. It's interesting, but guys, it's kind of looking <laughs> like two fish to me in many ways. 
And I'm also seeing a, well, there's a couple of things. I'm seeing a bird up here. That's about ascension. Can also be about a message. Also kind of looks like a little dolphin. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, these are fish. Wow, it's also looking like, this is really looking like a feather too, which is not surprising. When feathers arrive, an angel is nearby, as they say. In fact, I have a feather that will be coming into your reading. It's a really particular feather from my daughter. Look at this. Once we begin the tarot portion, so I'm not surprised by that at all. Pisces in, yeah, kind of where, well, where things are planetarily speaking at the moment. I don't think you've been feeling as confident as you usually do. That's also going to be changing and in the way of love too. So hang on. Let's see what's going on in here. Wow. Okay. This is for me. This looks a lot like the yin yang symbol. Isn't that interesting? My voice just got hoarse. Do you guys hear that? So one of the things also Uranus is in, retro in retrograde in Taurus right now. It goes direct on January, I want to say 22nd. So a lot of the rebalancing that you've been working on really in the last year, your love life and your work balance, it's going to be a pretty optimal time to start acting on that and especially manifesting. And I want to say, yeah, it's the 22nd. So what is that? It's about a little over two weeks here. This is the yin yang for me. And also Pisces, it's a bit like the moon as well, isn't it? And that is your your energy, the moon card, Gemini and Cancer also coming through. And yeah, isn't that interesting? Because we just had our full moon in Cancer also um, in the house of Gemini. And by the way, that energy is ongoing for a few days after. It's usually around seven days from start to the, to the full moon to after. And yeah, wow. By the way, though, the lunar eclipse energy, the total lunar eclipse energy from November 8th, that's still ongoing. That's a harbinger of change and it's going on for around three months after the event. So that's putting us around February. And that is truth, truth coming out, truths coming out, secrets coming out, both in with other people, but also for yourself, Pisces. And it's a culmination of emotional cycles that have run their course. So that is detaching from particular emotions, thoughts, behaviors, patterns, people, what is that going to be? And it can kind of come out of nowhere. That's still going on. There's a lot going on right now with Mars in retrograde. We're going to look at this one. In Gemini, Mercury in retrograde, and Capricorn, that's going direct on the 18th. So things are going to, I want to say, well, yeah, it's going to be a lot less <laughs> complicated as we know when Mercury is in retrograde. So whatever it is you've been kind of putting off, that's going to be a really great time for you to... Um, start looking at things again. That's another fish. I'm also seeing an elephant. I'm seeing a lion. Strength. Oh, yeah. And what is that? Gosh, I almost don't, I don't even know. Can you see this? Let's see if it, if it gets. I think that that cleared up for you. What is that to you guys? It's almost like it's an animal. It's definitely an elephant too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's an elephant that I'm also seeing a lion bringing in Leo. But more importantly, it's not just about Leo because that's the strength card, guys. That's what it's bringing in here. And that's self-love. And this isn't surprising at all because you've been working on that. And right now there's this feeling of kind of, um, yeah, not feeling as great as you usually do. That's going to be turning around. So stay strong. Yeah, stay strong because it's turning around for you. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. You're on the right track. You might feel like you're not getting anywhere right now, but you will be. I really love that for you. And the elephant as well, pushing those obstacles 
out of the way, getting some of you unstuck if you have been feeling stuck. Now this is quite interesting, guys. What are you seeing here? I'm going to hold this up. I think that's actually pretty clear. That's a miracle. <laughs> More yin-yang symbolism. Oh, wow. Okay. I see... Well, there's two kind of, it's almost like horses up, ready to move, but kind of having almost like a face off. I'm also seeing a swan here. Do you see this? Right there. Okay. Yeah, this is just really goosebumpy because it's also in what, what I feel like is another validation of the yin yang symbol. And that's not surprising. Getting some balance. This is your love reading. It's, it's Really, like I said, a lot of things will come through, but in the way of love, whatever you've been trying to kind of push through, get a reaction from someone or communicate with them, it's the Mars retrograde, and it's you're reassessing that right now. And that, like I said, that's going direct on the 12th. It's really not very far from now. And by the way, if you're not watching this in real time, it's really not the point, you guys. There's messages here for you. So stick around, okay? This is not about real time. These messages, well, it can be, of course, but it's they're timeless messages. And as Mars goes direct on the 12th of January, things will begin to slow down in that respect. It's Mars. It's the planet of, yeah, passion and aggression and how you do things. And you'll be getting a really big energy boost and the things that you've been thinking about and trying to do will be yeah it'll be time for that so it looks like I want to say after mercury retrograde um when it goes direct on the 18th and it's just a right a day before Capricorn season ends and we get into Aquarius season oh my gosh that yeah it's a, a much better time for some communication okay and yeah, these are the fish here. This is you. And this is Ascension. For those of you on a twin flame journey, you're here. I know that's not everybody. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. And as I do that, I want to tell you what is going on here. We generally, this is just another one of many things we do at the new year. And these were given to me quite a long time ago. And these are wishes. And I want to send them to you as well. Now, the new year always. Gluk, it's good luck. Schutz, this is protection. Liva, I wish you love Pisces. Ooh, that landed. And Urua, that's peace. So we're going to keep these here in your reading. I'm going to move this out of the way. Dry my hands. <laughs> Why is the camera doing that? Just a minute, guys. There we go. Okay, Pisces. By the way, this came early for you, so I'm going to read it in just a moment. Here is our beautiful gold feather. This was a gift from my daughter. Yeah, angels are near, but this is also about letting the light into you, letting the light into your world connecting with the crown chakra, the sun, which of course is the source, your God, your goddess, the universe, your higher power, and also finding solutions to things that have been eluding you. And that's kind of the Mars retrograde energy that I feel that you have been in. I'm going to move this over here. Is that another little piece of metal that fell? Yeah. Interesting. I'm going to keep it here, guys. Where did it go? <laughs> okay. So let's see what's going on. I'm shuffled and ready to go, but I like to get more real-time shuffling. Okay. I'm going to show you this. We have the Ace of Stones. That is the Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Can it be new love for some of you? Yeah coming up, but it can also be something I want to say the next level right this minute. No, but guys, again, Venus is going right into 
your sign Pisces around the 26, things are going to be looking good for you in the love department. Look what is right next to it. So this is not surprising at all. It's the wheel of fortune, fate, destiny, can be that there's a message coming around then as well. This is a deep soulmate connection, Pisces. Your destinies are intertwined. And yeah, some twists of fate going on here. This is somebody that you felt like you've known forever. Wow, this is really not surprising to me at all. This is a new cycle. It's the Wheel of Fortune. We see it here and it quite literally is what is coming up for you closer to the end of the month, <laughs> the foundation of life and the wheels. So let's see what else is coming in. Okay, I'm going to tell you something. Be interested to see if it comes back because it just tried coming of landing in your reading and uh, it didn't, but it wants to. So I have a feeling it might be returning. This is yours. I'm going to show you this in just a moment, okay? I might need to move things around. I managed to put my skip myself a little crowded <laughs> here. These are coming off. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can you please show Pisces what they need to see that perhaps they're not looking at? Maybe they have a blindfold on. They simply don't want to see. It's buried there in the subconscious. Is there something new altogether? Wow, this just got left behind. Okay, let's get this last card and your overall energy down with a hand shuffle. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the card or cards as it may be aho. your overall energy it's the queen of cups yeah cancer and energy more water energy healing love and friendship this is really interesting too look my gosh yeah i'm gonna set this down just while i talk a little bit here about the energy of this particular card a salmon can go upstream that's what i want to say to you and the water energy is coming through here. Of course, it's cancer. That is about love and friendship. It's also very emotional. I feel like some lines have been blurred for you. And that is something that really has been coming through for a while. It might even be for some of you, there's some confusion, whether it's on your part or somebody's part in your life. As to a friendship, what it is, this is also a time now, I want to say that you're feeling quite nostalgic. So yeah, this is your person that you have come here for. They can be a Cancer. That's highly likely. Your compatibility with a Cancer is really, really high. I want to say in the mid to upper 90% range. But of course, it's not going to mean that for everyone. And this is the Queen of Cups. It's Cancer in Neptune energy. And this is the overall energy in this connection. So the healing that has been going on. I'm really wanting to show you that. But I'm also feeling drawn to, yeah, go here. Okay, I'm going to show you something. Look, this is your first placement. If you watch my readings, you know that I, do I read reversals? Yeah, I can read reversals. Do I? Not really. For me, energy has messages things that I hear, it comes through regardless of where the cards are. And my cards come alive for me. They spin, they go sideways, they jump around. There's a lot of action going on. I've been feeling really drawn lately to, yeah, to give you the reversals. Now, these are not hard reversals. I want to tell you that right now. These are very clearly wobblers. Let's see if they're a spinner. I'm going to show you what is going on. It is the Four of Stones. That is the Four of Pentacles. That is Capricorn energy. And it's the sun in Capricorn energy. Interesting. So, yeah, somebody has been 
here not letting you see that they're not letting you go. First of all, there's some ego involved here. Is there an imbalance? Well, yeah, not just in the connection, but in, in the, this particular person who's coming through. And I do feel that this is your person. Then we also have the Three of Cups and it's joy. And this is also in reverse. And of course, the Three of Cups is more Cancer in energy and it's Mercury in Cancer. Mercury is the planet of love. It's the planet of communication. And at the moment, we are in retrograde, Mercury retrograde in Capricorn. Again, and it's going direct on the 18th and it's going to be kind of realigning things. Hi guys, <laughs> excuse me, the camera does that at the most inopportune times. Three is also a number of growth and communication and this is very much a wobbler because I want to say probably in the next week or so, this is going to be going like this. And it might not be fully upright, might not be that, yeah, it's well, it's divine timing, okay? We know that for sure. And it might not be right at that minute it's coming, but it is coming eventually. For now, it is here. And this is somebody who's had ego, who has just been not, it's been like this, even though you know how each other feels, or maybe you're not really sure. Either way, this is coming through quite strong. It's both of you. The first placement can be all you. It can be all your person. It's clearly both of you, in particular, as I said, with this Three of Cups and this Joy, because it hasn't been, and it's the Three of Cups. And not surprising, the Three of Cups is also about, yeah, celebration and, and a friendship. So this is somebody that either you have not really been sure where you stand, or there's just a really strong friendship there. This is also the soul contract with this person that does come through. And by the way, celebrations, yeah, and we did get the sect in your Blygason. We see the yin-yang energy here, the balance, and I um, have seen two horses here kind of meeting but bucked up, which is just <laughs> really already what is coming through, and that is some of the ego and a little bit of the headbutting, and I do feel that that is going to be rebalanced here. It's really clear already in your reading and in the Blygason. Of course, we'll talk some more, but let's keep moving here. The partnership placement is the Knight of Bows, guys. This is the Knight of Wands. This is Leo energy. And yeah, this is somebody coming kind of fast here. And look what it is. It's a fox. <laughs> it's the sly fox. It's the sneaky fox. It's in the partnership placement. So it's really fast energy. It's the kind of energy that, yeah, it's just coming out of nowhere here, that's the night. The night is on the move. It's the Leo energy. It's quite powerful energy. It's the fiery energy. It's the sun energy. And we are getting stronger. The sun after the winter equinox, the winter solstice, just before we went into Capricorn season, we had the longest night of the year, the shortest day. And the sun just grows stronger and stronger and stronger. And that is what I feel is happening here leading up to... Look at this in your partnership placement. It is the Eight of Stones. That is the, the Eight of Pentacles, of course. It's the Sun and it's in Virgo. The Eight of Pentacles, somebody here doing some work. Look, there's three up here sending up smoke signals. Look at this hand here on the wall, sort of like, yeah, some contact being made, wanting to leave an impression. Guys, where did that go? Of course, that was <laughs> that was in the cut deck. That was the Ace of Stones, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. Pisces, it's really clear to me here. I want to say to you, I feel like you have been pushing for a particular outcome. That's coming through really strong, and that's going to kind of change as Mars goes direct on the 12th. And it really is a go-with-the-flow message. Just hang tight, because that has been kind of taking up some of your time, giving you some low energy, maybe it's a little bit of self-confidence stuff going on here. But if this is something you're really wanting, this particular person that is coming through, that is going to be changing here and it's gonna be kind of coming out of nowhere. Now eight is a number of action that is accomplishing something and moving forward, Pisces. It's also, there's also a lot of Gaia energy around it. And we see here with the Queen of Cups, that, yeah, there's a lot of healing going on. So what exactly happened in this connection? I feel like it has a lot to do with the friendship as well and just 
pop, we'll see exactly here. Well, and of course, you know, everybody, you're all your own person. There's a lot of people here. So it's going to be different for you, but it is, I do feel it's really strongly connected to emotions, of course. And yeah, look, somebody working away here. By the way, eight is also really connected to Saturn and also karmic lessons. So somebody here, I feel, has been going through, the, through them, excuse me. I also think that's been you to some extent. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen this. It's temperance here, and it's in the reverse position. Look, the Ace of Stones came back. Yeah, guys, why is it like this? Because it's, it's been out of balance. Go with the flow, beautiful Pisces, okay? This is the temperance card. The temperance card is Jupiter energy. Sagittarius energy. There's that fast energy that we see in the Knight of Bows. But it's not right this second. It's just going to come out of nowhere. And this is a confirmation of that. These are wobblers. Well, this is a wobbler. This is also a wobbler too because it's not right now. Okay? And this balance, this is what's going to happen. That's what, that's what happens. It's a 14 that comes to a 5 that's about change. That is changing. And it's energetically with this sort of snake dragon. It's, it's a combination of, yeah, fast energetic movement with the snake and also the dragon there sending you some strength down. And that already came through. We saw that in the, the lion. And by the way, in the lion that I saw here and the elephant, the lion is connected to the star card. The eighth star in the star card is connected to the lion. So that's bringing in the star card for us. And that is renewal, having hope. It's kind of feeling like a miracle. Is somebody going to get some clarity here? I think so, yeah. Yeah, and it's just going to be kind of like zoop, the rebalancing here. Balancing the, the harmony in the connection. You having the patience. You've been waiting if this is what you want. If you're here and this is what you're wanting, I want to say. Have you both been holding back? I think your person, there's some ego here. And there is there is a, a dynamic, I feel, of a runner chase thing going on. So for some of you, this is your twin flame. It's not going to be for everyone. These are, well, I want to say general readings, not really love readings. They're no contact and or in separation, but twin flame energy comes through. Soulmate energy comes through all of that. By the way, that does come through also in the temperance card. And the thing about this is, you see the temperance card, it's kind of like this middle path, I want to say, with your soulmate. Of things resolving and that's what's happening now they're not resolved yet and what happens when they are the ace of stones came back guys the ace of stones came back capricorn virgo taurus energy it can be capricorn virgo taurus but again it's not about that it's about the energy here and yeah the soulmate energy and what we saw in that cut deck oh my gosh we saw that also in the wheel of fortune and that is really strong soulmate energy. That is something that you feel really deeply connected to that you've met in another lifetime, which a lot of you have. Somebody that you feel you've known forever. It depends on what you believe. But there is going to be a twist of fate here, I feel, coming up quite soon. And some decisions to be made. This is the naughty corner. What's going on? Well, <laughs> there's the horse. This is not surprising to me at all. Guys, oh my gosh. Okay, there's a couple of things I want to say to you. It's the Knight of Stones. That is the Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody who has been stubborn. There has been some ego, and we already saw that. We already know that here. And it's a wobbler, and it's a knight, and it's a horse. What is the horse doing when it when we're seeing this in the upright position. This is somebody you can count on who wants to do the work. Well, we see here that's coming up, but we also know that's not what's been happening and it's not quite happening yet. And, but look what is right next to it. It's the Eight of Cups in reverse. This is somebody who has been in their karmic, karmic lessons, okay? This is somebody who is figuring things out a paradigm shift, if you will, and somebody coming back. These are wobblers, and these are just what you think. The eight doesn't change. That also brings in the infinity symbol. <laughs> yes, it's still on this finger. That's an eight. There's that action number. 
karma around that number. And that's the karmic lessons of this person, of your person. This is your person coming back, you guys. It's not upright. It's not reverse upright. Doesn't that sound weird? <laughs> yeah, this is just how I, well, this is me as a reader. This is who I am, guys. And they're wobbly because, yeah, this is what is going on here. And again, in this night of pentacles with the horse, it's because your person has been stubborn. There's some headbutting going on here. And that's the horse, the two horses that I saw here kind of up and is bucked the right word? I don't really know, but I'm seeing them here connected. Look at this, my gosh. Okay, and, and I also see the swan here. And the weird thing is I also see a swan kind of connecting with a dog. <laughs> the dog is, of course, connected to loyalty and instinct and also connected to the moon card, which I also, the moon here, which we also saw, which is you, Pisces, and Gemini and Cancer. It's all this energy right now. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and this is in the way of love. So somebody, are you still connected? Yeah. Has somebody been stubborn? Some ego? Yeah. Are things changing? They are. They really are. If this is what you're wanting. Is it overnight? No. But is it coming up? Yeah, I feel like it is, guys. This energetic, and this, by the way, is here. Excuse me. This temperance card, the soulmate energy, is energetically fast. And by the way, I need to put these where they belong, which is not. Okay. You're reading, Pisces. I want to show you this. Now, this came through really early. Let's see what it's saying. <laughs> yeah. Truth. Speak from your heart. It is the only thing worth listening to. This is the throat chakra. It's the fifth chakra that's connected to the truth. That's also the five here and the rebalancing and the energetic. So, yeah, this is for you. Uh, this is for you, okay? I do feel that somebody here, we see it, that somebody is your person. And a rebalancing here, big time. There's been a lot of ego. We know that. I really don't feel like I need to even go over everything again because we already see that. But this is for you. If you're watching this exactly in real time, that full moon energy is still going on for a few days after. But again, that total lunar eclipse energy is still going on until right around early February, which has been how I've been feeling about things for you anyway. It might be a little bit sooner. Just be careful with the Mercury retrograde until the 18th, because after that, when it goes direct, it's, yeah, things are a little bit more, a little easier here. And also Mars retrograde going direct on the 12th. There's kind of a breather. Then Uranus retrograde now in Taurus is going to be going direct as well on the 22nd. And that's going to be kind of a time to pick things up again, I want to say. And this truth, but that harbinger of change, which is the to was just a, a lunar lunar eclipse, is a harbinger of change, and that's still going on. It's truths coming out, truths coming out, secrets being revealed between people, but also with ourselves, and it happens really fast, out of nowhere, and it's emotional, and it's kind of like an emotional cleansing, and that is this is sort of a build up, guys. Pisces, <laughs> my gosh. I want to bring in a little bit of Oracle. Then I'm going to bring in some love messages for you. And we're going to close the reading today on a fairy stone and a fortune card. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the card or cards as it may be a ho. Wow. Okay. These are yours. And this is yours. That was fast, Pisces. Yeah. Look at that. This is the thing. This is partly why I feel like you have been, <laughs> look at the full moon there too. The knowledge, the owl. My gosh, you guys, because this really is about, yeah, getting into the light and coming out of the darkness now. Quite literally, the longest day, the longest night of the year, the shortest day, and as the sun gets stronger and stronger right here in the sun. Um, this is couldn't be any more obvious here. The seven, guys, is connecting us to Neptune. Yeah, that dreamy energy. The 
illusion. And this is kind of that pushing that's been going on and this assessing, trying to kind of get an outcome. Because you know something that I feel like your person maybe has known as well, but has been resistant to, okay? Uh, this is, and this is another reassessment I want to say to you that's seven. It's kind of looking at things now and realizing that controlling what you can and letting go of what you can. Fate and destiny intersect with free will and choices. We can't control another person. We can't control their choices. Control what you can and let go of what you can't, and that's you. The message here for you really strong today is to go with the flow. If this is something that you're wanting, hold back a little bit. The time things are shifting in a really big way, guys, in the next couple of weeks, in particular for you in the way of love, Pisces, when Venus enters Pisces on the 26th of January. And again, that owl is guiding you. Owl can see through the dark here. So patience and taking care of yourself is really the number one thing here always and always with my readings. I advocate the hut and I talk a lot about it because I think waiting around for somebody, twin flame, soulmate, whatever energy it is, it's not healthy for you, Pisces. So whatever that's going to mean for you, okay? But things are coming in the way of love for you and it's kind of big. Uh, whether or not you want to be with this person here, I do see things changing for you also if you're dating. For some of you, if you're on a twin flame journey, yeah, go with the flow, beautiful Pisces. <laughs> That's what this card is. This is a go with the flow card. My gosh, and it's the seven. It's taking us exactly here. And you know this too. And this is you, look. This is you connecting with your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. With your higher power, the source, your God, your goddess, the universe. What is that for you? This is really going with the flow. Look at the direction here. That's what this is. And there's that seven. There's the Neptune energy again. My gosh, you guys. And you know what else is there? Is more of what's here. Which is assessing things and realizing what you can and can't control. Controlling what you can and letting go of what you can't. This is very goosebumpy because this has been the message. And Spirit said, yeah. And then look what's coming. Wow, this is super goosebumpy for you. It's coming to a three. It's divine. It's divine timing. It's growth. Communicating here for the higher good of you, higher good of all, highest good, connecting with your highest self. Look at this fate, the fairy wings there, butterfly, transformation, waking up. It's the new year, guys. Pisces. Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. <laughs> I really love this for you. Yeah, a lot of you too, I want to say, might be doing some traveling this year, in particular with somebody. It could be romantic. It could also be with family, but I'm seeing that for you because things have been, you've had a rough year and currently are a little bit vibrationally, it's, you're pulling yourself up. That's what I want to say. And it is coming, Pisces. You've got this beautiful, beautiful Pisces. I love this for you. So what exactly that's going to mean for you is going to be different for everyone. This is in the way of love, for sure. This is your love reading, but there's so much more that's coming through here. It's this wake up energy. I mean, look at this. Shining bright. Talk about getting into the light. Talk about letting the light follow you as you make your way out of the darkness. This is sit here. I love this for you. I'm going to bring in some love messages and then we're going to bring in a, a fortune card and close your reading. What do you want to say to your Pisces? Well, that was fast. <laughs> I spy on you. Okay. Yeah. Look, there's the fox. Kind of almost looks like a grin. That's the fast. That's the sneaky fox. You are on my mind 24-7. By the way, if you ever feel you're sending these, then that, that's how it goes, guys. Messages from their higher self. I love you every day. This, these are also yours. Yeah, that's three. 
Most I will take what's going on here. The day will turn to night, but my love for you will remain constant. At night I talk to you, hoping you receive my messages. I feel like for some of you that's also you. I didn't really know love until I met you. This is also hanging off. I dream about our life together. It's all I want. Pisces. What do you want to say to your Pisces? Your beautiful, dreamy Pisces. I want to kiss you. <laughs> Look, guys. It's New Year reading, so I'm keeping up my holiday decor. This is mistletoe. There it is. There's your first kiss of the new year. Maybe it's not your first kiss, actually. Here at the tarot closet. <laughs> it was me, not you. I am so sorry I hurt you. I care too much what people think. I will never give up on us. We will be together someday. Will you wait for me? I think that's it. No. Okay, this is yours. I have so many regrets. That's it, Pisces. I want to bring in, <laughs> this just pushed its way off, a, a luck for the new year card, fortune cookie. Fortune cookie card. We're going to look at this, we're channeling another, and bring in your fairy stone, then we close your reading, beautiful Pisces. Opportunities. A stranger is about to change your life. Exciting times and plenty of action, plus a special family reunion looks likely. Interesting. Yeah, there might be something going on family energy-wise, kind of the first quarter, I want to say. Soulmate coming in. It can be romantic, but it can also be not romantic, guys. It's somebody coming in here to help you on your path as you wake up, Pisces. I love this for you. This wanted to come out. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the card or cards as it may be a ho. Challenges. Take time out from problems or conflicts or approach softly to avoid making matters worse. Interesting because right now, this particular energy, it is really a time of kind of, you know, just sort of, well, always self-care, going with the flow. That was really strong and the go to see came as we were talking about it. So that is a really, a really direct message. And I'm, yeah, I felt that <laughs> from the beginning of the reading. Please show us the card or cards. Is it maybe a hoe? Personal riches. Small successes are likely now and bigger ones are on the way. Yeah, this is a bit, this is kind of a big deal because I feel like, by the way, this is not a <laughs> general life reading, but finances might be looking a little bit iffy for a while, but finances could improve dramatically, but avoid get rich schemes. Yeah, because that is, they are going to be getting better guys. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Okay, let's get a fairy stone. Oh yeah, I love this. It's the scales, it's the balance. If you're on a twin flame journey, yeah, it's coming through here. For some of you, this can mean, I mean, I gotta use the word union really lightly. This is not a twin flame reading, but it can also be a reunion. And we're kind of already seeing that in the reading in general. Closer, mid-month, end of, end of the month, possibly next month. I don't generally give timelines, guys, so please take that with a grain of salt, okay? But in any case, these are the scales, and that is bringing in Libra energy. And that's also bringing in the truth. And it does feel here that somebody has a lot of that that they've been holding back. But it's also about you and rebalancing what you've been working on, which you kind of just it sort of stopped. It will be picking up again. The, the balancing that you've been working on. So this is a, you know, it's a reminder, I want to say. And in the connection, we see that in the temperance card, which is quite wobbly, which I feel like is just going to kind of out of the blue go, shoop, 
and upright itself here. Some truths coming out, some balancing. Yeah. And by the way, you know, the justice card, of course, is connected to fate and karmic law and spiritual justice. So whatever your person's been going through and you're going through in general alone and in the connection, I feel like things are going to be rebalancing here. Wow. Okay. Pisces, that is your reading today. I wish you love, light, all things good, abundance in all areas of your life. Continued healing as you approach this new life for yourself, whatever that's going to mean for some of you. It's looking kind of great here for you, I have to say, whether that is with the person you've arrived here for today, you're looking for new love, hang tight, Venus is almost, <laughs> look I'm doing this, is almost in Pisces, it's sort of like this, ha ha ha, <laughs> okay, yeah, check everything out down below if you feel like it in the description, I look forward to seeing you at a reading, another reading, at your reading, Pisces, take good care of yourselves, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.